so hello everyone uh, welcome to my channel uh, so thank you for the support which you have given for the last video so here as you know i'm making a one series on capital xc where we are discussing the basic of capital xc and how we are going to use so we will discuss about the second part of capital xc so here we will see what is the agenda of this capital xc second class and what are the points we are going to discuss here so please if you like the video please comment like and subscribe so without wasting time we are just moving to the agenda so we will see the today in the second class of capital xc we will see the basic overview of basic overview of different harnesses so i will tell you why it is necessary before going into the capital xc the second one so last time you as you remember we have discussed about the gui of this capital xc and in this gui we have seen how to add the bundles bundle symbols okay so we will see all these things today in a little bit detail so first we will see the basic overview of different harnesses new harness creation in capital xc then how we are adding the borders and style in capitals okay when we are creating one new harness then how to synchronize the harness from capital logic to capital xc okay once you have synchronized the harness then you start working on 2d okay so in 2d what are the things like we have the tables wireless tables and insulations okay then terminals then plugs okay all these things we will discuss once we will complete this synchronization okay so when before going to the synchronization we will just discuss how to build the list in capital logic because without building the list in capital logic for particular harness we cannot do the synchronization and then by building the list then we will start this synchronization with capital xc so well moving to the next slide so we will see the basic overview of different harnesses so before going to the capital I, uh, x synchronization we will see the harness overview so you know this is my car okay in this car what are the areas we discussed so this is my engine area right and this is my passenger area or cabin right this is my cabin in this also we describe this particular area as a instrumentation panel okay ip instrument because here this instrumentation panel you will be having right and then this particular area is our rear area okay so here you will have the different harnesses so first i will discuss the where this particular area called engine so we whatever harness we are using on engine we call it is engine harness okay this is the one harness we use here then see so here i will describe about the main harnesses only okay i will not describe all the uh, you know small small harness if you understand the big harness small harness is a cake work for you so first is our engine harness then one harness is as i told you this harness we call is ip harness so as it is comes under instrument panel so we call it ip harness then one is body harness so body harness comes from from here to here okay here to here so it goes from one end to other end and it is the biggest harness and uh, if i clearly remember that its uh, weight is maximum in whole car uh, around uh, it varies varies car to car so from one point to other point how they are taking from different uh, oem so 7 to 15 kg its weight uh, vary then we have the door harness so you see here we have the door so this is door harness these are the small small harnesses okay then you have the headliner above okay on the roof this is my headliner harness then on the back you have the tailgate harness here then you have the fender harness so fender harness front fender would be here okay and rear fender would be on a rear side sorry on a rear side if you see on the this side that it would be a rear harness okay rear harness or fender uh, rear fender harness you can see so why i'm telling you all these harnesses here and why i need uh, you know require this particular harness so here if you see in this particular uh, you know uh, pics uh, you can see uh, all different harnesses however we can relate this engine harness dashboard harness okay dashboard harness is nothing but the same which i discuss with you then left interior right interior so all these naming uh, you know mostly depends on the oem 
so which OEM you are working on those uh, but there would be some certain harnesses which would be same like engine harness would be same in any harness uh, any OEM okay body harness would be same IP harness would be also same and few people might say some different naming but it would be same dashboard harness would be also door harness would be same so all these harnesses are you know common across the OEMs but there might be some different in namings okay so as I told you earlier also our process of harness manufacturing starts from the capital logic right capital logic or any other schematic tool okay so what we do here we create the schematic okay this schematic then we take into the capital x -E. what capital x -E do we create here 2d then parallelly with this and with this there would be a 3d routing which we do in ugnx or the catia okay this is the routing this is nothing but this is the routing how the your particular harness is going and what are the clip provision what are the inline connectors you are using and how this particular harness is going to be laid down in your car this is done in the 3d routing okay so now first i come to the sc okay schematic so in schematic when you create any circuit okay so suppose i take example of sorry i take example of starting system okay so in starting system first you see what are the components i am going to use so first the fuse i am going to use second starter motor i am going to use then third it would be starter relay would be there then fourth it would be a neutral switch would be there so uh, i'll just show you how it would be so this is my fuse from power distribution then there would be my starter relay okay i will explain this all these things in detail okay then it would be my starter motor okay and there would be my neutral switch okay so why i am giving the neutral switch so you remember when you start your car okay when you give the crank to your car and your car does not start okay so what you see first whether your car is in your neutral state or not if it is not in neutral state then your car does not start so do you know how it is you know logically logically what we say it has been conditioned in such a way that if your car is not in neutral state if your car is in gear then it should not start if it will start you know what will happen right so how the uh, uh, that particular switch or the uh, key which you are uh, rotating it doesn't do anything what it does the main function is done by this our neutral switch or this the connection or by the schematic which you give here okay so okay i'm going uh, in a different uh, direction but this is the function of neutral switch why your car does not start right now you just understand in this way okay so when you give this wire from power uh, power distribution to the starter relay starter relay to starter motor then neutral switch so these particular wires will be routing somewhere okay here okay your suppose your power distribution is here and your uh, uh, starter motor somewhere here then this would be routing somewhere and where it is routing in which harness you have to define right this particular on wire this you you have to define so suppose one uh, one schematic when i will start one series then i will tell you what are the things you have to define in capital logic to make the circuit if you don't define the engine harness or which harness you are going then it it will not synchronize with capital X E. Okay, so how you you are you are going to define that? Okay, this particular harness, this particular wire is going to come. So you understand why I told you the different harnesses in the car. Okay, so this is one reason why we have to give the overview or why we have to assign one particular uh, harness to one wire. Okay, suppose my tailgate suppose tailgate so this will uh, will come under the tailgate only or fender harness okay so it will come in the, the fender harness okay in the capital also you have to define this as a capital as a fender harness okay so this is how you have to define in schematic that this particular wire is going to come in this particular harness whether it is engine harness whether it is body harness or ip harness suppose you are giving one connection to the your head unit or cluster 
ओके सो यू माइट बी टेकिंग वन कनेक्शन फ्रॉम द पावर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टू हियर देन सम ग्राउंडिंग बट टिल हियर टू हियर इट विल कम इंजन हार्नेस बट आफ्टर दैट इट विल कम इन आई पी हार्नेस ओके सो यू हैव टू गिव इन गिव द बोथ द हार्नेस नेम इन दिस कैपिटल देन ओनली यू कैन सिंक्रोनाइज दिस कैपिटल लॉजिक टू एक्सी ओके I hope you got my point. What I am trying to say here. If you did not get this point, you just comment below. I will try to give you the answer of this question. Okay. I hope here you got the answer that why we need to define the harness on the capital logic. Now going forward, that is the first thing. Now uh, we will go to the second thing, which we have to start for the capital logic. Okay. So first we will see the how to. create the new harnesses okay so this is new harness creation in capital x so you have the your test harnesses okay here you will be having your project name okay so suppose my project name is suppose and anything you can take osm you can take osm x uh, 201 suppose you take okay or you test you can take then right click on that then you have to click on new harness design then this pop up will come edit design okay in edit design what you have to do you have to give the harness name suppose i give the engine harness okay here you have to give the engine harness then you might be having part number so i give part number api 000 uh, 1245 this is just a example okay then you have to give the revision whether you are on uh, 00 or 01 or 002 any revision you can give then you can give the short description and here the big description you can give then release level level so release level you can define whether it is the final release or on which level you are whether a a a b okay every oem will be having some level on the release level you can define on this here you have no need to fit anything applicable options so applicable options suppose this particular harness is applicable for usa and canada okay so you have to you have to give the, that particular option here okay then harness group uh, you can define here sorry then select the derivatives okay so which derivative it is then this is one important point you have to define here the sealing requirement so you have to just check in those seal harness connector plug connectors and insulate splices okay then you have to just click okay okay once you click okay then what will happen one border will come okay one harness border will come then we will see how to define that border and how we can change that border and style set so moving to this edit border in capital x okay so as you know these would be our options so there would be one option drawing in this particular option drawing you just go here that is border okay here once you click on this border option then there would be a pop up will come that is edit border in edit borders you will be having some default borders like a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 so whatever border you want to give you can give but most of the time oems have the customized border what does it mean customized border so they will be having some rules logos their logos they would be having some notes predefined notes that should be always there and they would be having some revision tables automated you have no need to make so these things would be there and that particular border would be created okay we will see how it will look like so yeah so if you see in the edit border in so default border would be something like this just a blank okay there would be nothing okay but when you have the customized border then you will be having something like this so suppose i am making a, a drawing for the uh, active active company or yajaki company okay so what you you will be having automatically this particular table this particular reference table you will be having here you have to fill this information like approval what is the approval then you have to fill the drawing name 
you have to drawing number okay so these would be third angle projection and other things it would be automatically then dimension tolerance would be there so all these things would be automatically created in customized border you have no need to create again and again okay there is no sense of wasting the time on this then this revision table would be automatically created however you have to fill these information like date stage then revision then change history then revision history all parts release part drawing okay so suppose in second revision someone has changed something so all parts added dimension okay and updated cov and connector cpa to the latest revision who has done author then dr approval and all these information you have to fill so i hope you understood what is the default border and customized border so moving to the next topic that is the styling style set so how to set the style in the capital xc so in capital xc how to set the style what you have to do this is your capital xc and it is your home then you go to the sample project or whatever project you have you know started then you go to particular harness then there would be a one diagram option okay just you right click on this diagram then when you right click on this diagram then this edit harness diagram option will come and in style set you would be having this drop down okay so i take one style set suppose ads1 or ads2 okay so what does it mean the style set okay so suppose my bundle i have to show the bundle okay so my bundle is right now in a straight line but i want this bundle to be shown as a dotted line so this is a one type of style set style set is nothing but that how you are showing your components or nomenclature in your drawing okay i hope you understand so suppose if you your company your oem might be having one particular type of style set you just select on that particular style and whole drawing will be converted in that particular style so suppose if i am using for the bundle the straight line and you want the dotted line for the bundle then what you have to do you have to just select that particular style set and it will become in the dotted format i hope you got my point what i am trying to say by style set so we have till now we have seen how to create the new harness uh, drawing in the capital xc then border then style set then moving to the how to build the capital logic uh you know build a list so how to synchronize the harness from the capital logic to capital xc so we have to see this particular so before the synchronization what we have to make we have to make the build list in capital logic why have to now you will understand what i have explained you regarding the starting system uh, circuit okay so in first slide i have described you the starting uh, system Uh, would be having one harness name like suppose engine harness name okay this is my engine harness now to link this particular engine harness to capital xc you have to make the build list okay build list means so i have told you that your wire one wire is going from engine harness to ip harness okay one connection was there from cluster to your power distribution so this particular connection is moving from engine harness to ip harness right so your this particular connection will come in engine harness this particular connection will come in ip harness i hope you got my point correct so to link that particular connection to particular harness we have to make the build list okay this build list will be made only when you have defined this harness name in your schematic okay so how to make the build list in capital logic we will see so there are two options so first option i will show you that when you have your capital logic this is your capital logic in workflow you will be having one option the filter when you click on this filter option then there will be a pop up bridge filter and configuration filter once you will see this then there would be a harness filter in harness filter there would be many harnesses like whatever harnesses you have defined like engine harness body harness ip harness so suppose if you have defined these harness it will show in the harness filter you have to select that field particular harness and hit okay okay then it would create the build list but suppose if you are not able to make in this way and you are to do from the scratch i will show you from the scratch how to do so what you have to do so this is my capital logic and there would be one option build list okay in build list what you have to do you have to right click on that and right click on that harness then select the suppose this harness this is my harness engine harness then what you have to do select add this 
analysis build list edit analyst build pop up will come and in that pop up what you have to do i will show you that pop up so this is the pop up when you right click on that particular harness edit analyst analysis build list so here your harness name would be there engine harness suppose i take one example then you will be having one option that is design revision here you will be having folder location revision level okay you can mention all these information then the de design revision there would be one option that would be in this form the plus in what you have to do you have to hit this addition button okay when you hit this addition button what it will do design revision selection pop up will come this one and in this particular selection you have to click on this circuits once you will hit on this circuits then there would be a different circuit will come inside this okay in drop down menu so though what are those circuit will come wherever you have given your engine harness or all the harnesses it is not like only engine harness what you have to do you have to select all the circuits because you don't know in which harness you might be having which in, uh, uh, you know which circuit you might be having uh, which harness suppose in power distribution so suppose i am having engine harness Uh, but in ground there might be some ground would be in engine harness there would be some ground in body harness so you have to select all the circuits like steering starting system can system headlamp etc all the circuits you have to select once you select the all the circuit then what you have to do so here uh, I, as a design revision selection pop up will come then expand this circuit then select the different circuits moving to the next slide once you include all the circuits as i told you then hit there would be this this list would be there if you see here edit analysis build circuit then all the circuits would be here okay so whatever revision you have created here it will come okay the level wh whatever level you have given then there would be a option validation okay and cancel what you have to do you have to give the validation so what it gives it gives the validation in progress once you hit on this then validation result will come and validation build list for engine harness against all the shared pin okay when you will do this thing then it will come as a okay or completed process okay once this will come completed process then there would be some warning and there would be some errors so warning are ignorable but errors you have to uh, you know clear out so suppose one error is coming following shared wires are not connected to any pins so there would be some wires which are not connected to any pins which you have to take care so what happens in capital logic suppose if you have not connected properly those wires so those wires will not come in your xc okay when you will be uh, because they are not came into the build list so that's why they will not come into the your xc 2d drawing so there is a one more error following shared wires are connected to only one pin okay so only one pin they are connected you have to check what is the issue in this so this process is written same once you are included all the circuit hit on okay on, on validation validation result pop up it will tell you the warnings and errors what are your in circuit then check the warnings and errors once you check the warnings and errors and you are clear with your errors warnings you can ignore then you have to move to synchronize the harness from capital logic to capital xc because your build list is already created and your build list name was engine harness okay you have to whatever harness suppose i have given rear harness name okay so you have to give same name for the build harness okay because the same harness name it will take so how the synchronization process will happen click on synchronization so you will be having the capital home automate then you will be having workflow inside the workflow you will be having option synchronization synchronization once you drop down then first option you have to click on synchronization okay once you click on synchronization then this pop up will come synchronize harness design okay in synchronize harness design there would be a option logic build list this logic build list will be selected then there would be a one option that is change policy in change policy what you have to select you have to select the full change change policy me full change okay then there would be available source design so all the available source design you have to select here all the available source design then available harness design 
you have to select the particular harness for which you are making suppose you are making for engine harness then you have to select one engine harness it will reflect automatically okay if you have done for the uh, sorry if you have done for the rear harness then it will come for the rear harness so here the process is written select the full change in the so well i was uh, describing about this synchronization so so what you have to do first you have to click on the synchronization then select the full change in the change policy what you have to select here full change in the policy then select the build list which we have created already so here you have to select the build list then select the harness from the available harness design so here you have to select the harness design then select all the re relevant schematic from the available source design so you have to select from here okay harness build list you have to select here move the harness moving uh, move the harness mapping tab okay we will see this thing so first after selecting this one there is a one option here that is harness mapping okay you have to go there also after this you have no need to hit right now so in harness mapping what you have to do here in harness mapping you have to select the particular harness against that there would be a target harness design okay so you have to select that particular target harness suppose i am taking engine harness so i have to select engine harness okay here then select the target harness and click okay once you click okay then what will happen harness design synchronization process will start that processing will start harness design synchronization then there will be a one info will come that this particular synchronization is completed with no errors and it will tell the times also ki how many how many seconds it took for synchronization so this is very important if something is coming with error here then you you are not allowed to create that particular harness sorry so this is very important in here this synchronization should be without any error okay so it should come like this info synchronization completed with no errors i hope it is clear so if it is coming synchronization completed without any error then you are done with your synchronization not 2d till now you have you are done with your synchronization then how it will look like when you do the synchronization i will show you so this would be the 2d drawing so i would not say 2d drawing completed this is one step okay one step you have completed okay in the 2d drawing okay so here what will come it will give your information whatever in the your capital logic build list so what information it would be having one is connector okay what connector then circuit information you will be having okay then what what else you will be having for the uh, build list wire table definitely you will be having that is in circuit then connector view you will be having okay so this is without bundle there is no bundle only this information is there that connector information is there wire table information is there okay and that particular connector view is also there but when it is with bundle i will show you how to do with bundle or without bundle so okay okay with bundle takes one more step so with bundle what does it mean with bun in bundle is having the information about what are the information that it would be having wire length okay because you have done without uh, uh, you know uh, without uh, mcat this process is called uh, this process where this will come with uh, we call it mcat so it will not have any information about bundle but here if you see it is having information about bundle okay so you will be having wire length and wire length will come from the 3d okay so there is a you now you understood that there would be one more process where we we have to take the data from 3d to capital logic 3d to capital logic so 3d either ugnx to capital xc or catia catia to capital xc okay so what information it will give it will give one wire length it will give any additional information about the connector cover because connector cover information you are not giving in where you are not giving in schematic where you are giving this connector information you are giving the connector information connector cover information in 3d so from when you map this 3d to xc then this information will automatically come i hope you understand then wire length 
in the table also will be updated when you will do this synchronization from 3D to capital XE. 3D to capital XE. I hope you are getting my point that there are some uh, points which you have to remember. Okay. Uh, I will I will show you some example also uh, in the coming. So first you understood that there would be build list. Okay. Build list from logic capital logic which will give the semantic wire information to capital XE but for my 2D I need the 2D length also connector information also covering information also or insulation also okay insulation information also so that information you will get from the 3D okay so there are first process we have understood second process we will understand in coming uh, you know uh, lessons or coming classes how to do 3d to capital xc okay capital xc so i hope you got why we are trying all this synchronization and what information we are trying to bring in 2d if still you are having some doubt you please comment on the comment box i will try to clarify on this so moving to next we will see one we will see one uh, example here so if you see this is my capital logic so whatever functions i have told you in this so this is my sample project okay this is my build list which i told you here under the analysis or under the logic you will be having this sample on this harness if you click on this so there would be some harnesses you will right click on this and whatever process i have told you in the beginning okay you follow those process and you will get created this logic build here okay once this logic build will be created then you have to uh, do the synchronization so this is my part of uh, sample project okay then you will be having design then symbol parts and then uh, shared okay symbol parts and this is my you know for creating the device here if you see here then splices are also there if you see here then pins inline jack plug ring terminal block assembly net wire okay then splices we will see how to do these splices and other thing so this and this i have taken from the youtube only uh, but to understand this one i, I just uh, you know taken this particular thing that how they are uh, doing so if you see this thing here this wire from this particular connector to this one this is my splice and this is going here okay sorry one second so if you see here so this particular they will define one particular harness on this okay suppose i take engine harness then what are the things for wire they will define then they will define the csa of this wire then what they will define then wire color they will define here in schematic okay so humne dekh, uh, what we have seen csa wire color then naming of the particular harness okay what else please tell then one more thing that options okay options or you know derivatives derivative variables or variant whatever you call it okay so for which options it is applicable okay that you also define in this wire okay i hope till here you are clear now we will see one small video of this synchronization as well one second ha ah, okay so well we will see here how this synchronization uh, is going to happen this is for rear seat harness so this is my bundle this is okay so i told you that connector information and other information uh, connector information and uh, your uh, covering information and uh, your additional uh, length information length information you will get from the 3d and for 3d to xe you should have some process so that it should come into the xe that we will explain so this is the process and this is how it looks like after 3d to xe merger okay so this is my uh, bundle this is my bundle and this is my insulation over this these are my splice these are the length what is the length of this particular thing okay so it will look like this 
after 3D to XE. Now, what you want else to create your 2D, uh, 2D drawing? You want the information about wire table and you know wire table and connector view. Okay, how many pins of the connector you are going to. So, and these things will come from where? It will come from capital logic. Okay, and in logic from SC to XE. Okay, capital logic, uh, semantic to XE. Correct? <coughs> Sorry. So, this particular process we have seen already ki how to make the logic build and how we are showing. So, here also I have already told you this GUI, I have already explained how this GUI works. This is your sample project. This is here also build list, whatever build list you have made, it will show here. Then, harness design, symbol, parts, and inside you will see splices, grommet, assembly, clips, connectors. Then devices, wires, insulation, multi-core, overbed, multi-location, other ring terminal. So all these information you will be having. So we will just see how these this synchronization will happen. So I'll just create this thing. So this is just showing how this bundle is created automatically from the 3D. You can see here, this is the connector C1, C2, C3, they have mentioned here. And these connectors, we call it DNUMs. You might have seen in the first class. I have explained how this representation is done. DNUM is nothing but connector name. Okay. This is, there are other many OEMs which use different, different, uh, you know, uh, names for this. So here, DNUM, CNUM, connector name, whatever you take. Okay. So, here if you see, uh, we went to the, huh, how to add the bundle if you see. If suppose uh, there is one question here, it might be that, okay, we have uh, built the logic uh, logic uh, circuit from uh, capital logic to XE. Can't we make it manually? So, the answer is yes, you can make it manually. There is no need of synchronization also, but you know, if you will make manually, then it will take time unnecessary. For the small harness, it is okay. But the harness like body harness, it will take a lot of time and it is not feasible also. And it is not recommended also because the length you are going to give them manually, there is a chances you do mistakes. But the length which will come from 3D to XC, it will come automatically and it will come correctly. So here uh, in this video, you will see they have just shown the how to create the bundle manually. You have to just click on this particular option and then you have to just uh, so here so you see here they are creating the manually this bundle and here you can change the length as well manually because it is not to scale nts so here if you see uh, 135 they have given if suppose they want to change something like 50 so it will automatically will be 50 so here also if you want to create all the bundles like this you can create okay and this insulation covering also you can create like this but as I told you earlier also, it is not recommended. Then you go to workflow. Once you go to workflow, then you will see the synchronization option. As I told you in this synchronization, first option you have to select. Then it is coming save, modify. You have to just click on yes. Once you click on yes, you can see here which option I have told you that this will show the uh, change policy. So in change policy, you put full logic build list then you select that particular available source design and then available harness design also would be there you just click on both the things and you just click on ok then your connectors would uh, you know reflected here so you can see here uh, in the below that your harness information should be synchronization completed with no error total time 4 seconds ok so here there is no error and uh, your uh, harness is created uh, and if you see the harness now so it would be having the connector information uh, and the uh, wire table also would be there so here they have not uh, shown the wire table because they have not selected the circuits but if you do by selecting the circuit uh, automatically the uh, circuit table wire table will also come so that's all about the whole process uh, about the this xc how to create and this would be looks like final but i will show you after that also there is a, a lot of things you have to do 
in this. Uh, so what are those things? How to you know optimize the splices and other things? We will see in the next class. So if you like this class, you just hit like and comment below. Uh, so at least I will be aware that okay, these particular classes are helping in some way. You come to know some new things um, because uh, it it is definitely because it is taking my time. So it would be I'm, I would be happy if you like and subscribe the channel. So thank you everyone. Uh, I'll just move to the uh, last slide so last slide nothing but you have to just like subscribe and comment and thank you for your time uh, whatever time you have given and if you get something from this class please hit like comments and if you did not get anything or you think that it is like a wasting time just uh, comment on the uh, comment section I will see and what are the points I have to improve that also we will see so thank you everyone thank you